three weeks, the local government account was shot. We had to run away. Talks were unleashed. Police colluded with the chairman. These are all allegations. Do you have proof? I have proof now. Have you not read my book? It's clear with documents. None of them can even talk, go to court because you take me to court, I subpoena those documents. I subpoena more. But none of them will run. Now, three weeks later, the chairman walks, to the, walks into the court and gets the court to defreeze that account. And we had to scupper because all hell was let loose. We shut out the workers' salaries. See, don't touch it. We went to the banks, all the banks, and placed in as was required of, of us by law. The banks froze their account, and the chairman went hell haywire. Now, uh, let, let, let's bring, if not that the National Assembly has gone this way, you're not optimistic at all that the states will follow suit and ensure that local governments get autonomy. Well, because, well, if the governors are responsible, they will know that Nigeria is just on the brink. A little push and it goes over. You know, and, when ex excuse me, excuse me, Jambale. If they don't, this is a great opportunity for them. We need those two thirds from the state government. For who? For the state assemblies? As assemblies, yes. I'm talking about governors. It's not those assembly boys won't do anything if they're governors, they don't. That's the way it is. It's not like you, so, you, you would have seen uh, a member of uh, the, the Senate of America, the same party as the president, chiding the president in public, too, actually. They said, Mr. President, you're not getting it right. You don't do that in this country or they'll chop off your head. Well, they also gave reasons why they did it because they thought that they were not going good, to Good, good. That's they, where they were democracy... Not that's where election and that's so that's why where, some of them say that's why that's they did it. Even some of them yeah. who would seek re-election. Let's bring it back home. For instance, now, could you also tell us how it works? If you say uh, state houses of assembly won't do anything because the governors will... First, I know that so many people who will readily agree with you because we've seen governors impeached. We've seen state assemblies stand up to their governors in some cases. So to that extent, we may not, uh, sh should not paint them in one brush. But the National Assembly, members there also come from states. And some of the states who you say will not agree may have, may have spoken to this one. How did you scale through there without the governor saying, well, don't do because we don't want it? And you think it won't work in the States? No, these are big boys. The National Assembly, they are big boys. They are oh, not, they are they are not under the governor. The governor can just call the, the, the speaker. This boy, what are you? And you are suspended. And once the speaker suspends you, he can suspend you for the entire tenure, according to law. So they are easily cowed. It's not like National Assembly, where they can gang up against the president, and the president will... Will, will worry for his political life. They are easily cowed. They are just minions. Some of these people are crooks. They are all, all they need is just to uh, bring uh, in... Uh, oh, well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me, let me yeah. withdraw that. But some have questionable character. But they are in there. You, we're, we're not running a system. We need a system where the president says, look, I am not giving you this. It happened some time ago. Tinubu looked at the system. He created 37 more local units. They are not local governments. Local council the, development. Local council, council, yeah, exactly. Development. And if we are to be fair, Lagos needs that. You don't create Kano and Lagos in one day and leave Lagos 20 for how long? And right. Obasanjo said, I'm not giving you because these are not local governments. If Obasanjo were partisan well, he was following the law. And okay. Ghani said it, that he was right. Let's go to break to now. Uh, we'll, we'll come back and conclude this in just a moment. Thank Join you. us again. Welcome back to our concluding moments. Now, uh, as we wind down on this one, could you just tell us, um, for those who think that the citizens, we need to do much more in ensuring that systems and processes work. For instance, when you were 
in the local governments? What kind of action did you see on the part of the people? If the governor decides to shut it down or state assemblies don't do what they're supposed to do, were citizens mobilized and properly to ensure that right things are done to get systems working? Now, now you are, you are, you are, you are, you are sensing what's supposed to happen. It's all encompassed in that book. The people don't do anything. They are virtually indolent. Anything you give them, they take. Why do you think that's Which is wrong. Why do you think they do that? Because if you do much, they'll bring in the police against you and maybe kill people and nobody attends to that problem. So the people are cowed. They should actually come up and say, no, you are not running a local government system. We, we wouldn't let you have peace here. Give us a roadmap of how you think. Give us a roadmap of how you think that uh, this... Uh, the people should mobilize work. against the local government that is not functioning as a local government. If you don't have local government councils, the people should mobilize and stop anything working in that state. What is a state without Even when you government? say that the police will be well, pushed in? Yes, the police at the point they will get... People will... Be, okay, the human rights body will come in. And right. they'll, they'll focus their camera on the police. Now, some of you don't even know the names of your uh, councillors. May not know the names of your councillors. Is, is the it the ones you said are non-existent now? Well, well, when they were, the, your last councillor. <laughs> if somebody were. like... They should be brought out here and butchered, these governors. <laughs> Uh, no, bring no, no, them no. out here. Let's expose no, them. No, no, no. no, 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 no there's you no room for that. hate speech. There's no room for hate speech. No, 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 speech. This is not against the government. That's, that's, you, can't, you can't say that on national TV. So, uh, but, but we do not. Mobilization has got to do in the context I'm, of I'm the law. about political butchering, not chopping off somebody's Anyone head. at all. Okay. It has to be with, if you have any grounds, you can go to court. That's a decent thing and right thing to do. Cool. But we appreciate your coming on this morning, uh, seeking uh, to ensure that local governments work. Obina Uche is a former chairman of Cantalus Forum.